my God, what's up, you, 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 you? I got a donated episode from Mr. Uh, Steve Rodriguez, and he wants me to put Megadeth's Endgame versus Havoc's Time Is Up. And uh, I own Endgame, though I didn't pull it out. I don't own Time Is Up. I don't own any Havoc. I did see them live, and I thought they were fucking badass. And I have heard them. I've heard some of the... I have some thrashing buddies. But, you know what I mean? I'm not fucking... I'm not rich where I can buy everything I fucking like, you know? Uh, another great one is Suicide, Suicidal Angels. And there's a handful of thrash bands out there that I think are great, but I don't own it. So this is the first time I actually heard Time Is Up in its entirety, I believe. Maybe I heard it before at a friend's house or so. I know I've heard some Havoc albums before. So here we go. Uh, by the way, Endgame was awesome. I, I still love that album. And uh, I already took notes, and I already got the final score. So let's do this, Steve. All right, uh, we start with Dialectic Chaos, which is a crushing instrumental. I'll never forget the first time I popped in the CD, and I was like, oh, this is my Megadeth. And that's going against Prepare to Attack. And this is fucking killer. Sick fucking drums. I'm giving this one a Havoc. All right, the next one is uh, This Day We Fight. Again, this is my Megadeth. It's kind of one song, instrumental going into that song. Kind of like, what was it? Set the World on Fire going into, I forget. You know, the two songs on So Far, So Good, So What. Um, and then we got, oh, Into the Lungs of Hell to uh, Set the World on Fire. All right, then we got, 44 minutes. Uh, it, this one's good. It's okay. It's not one of my favorites on here. I won't skip it. It's, it's a good song. And that's going against No Amnesty, which uh, this one's more than okay. It's fast-paced. It's thrashing. It's awesome. Giving it to that. All right. Next is uh, uh, 1320, I guess the name of the song is. It's a cool song. Uh, it's a thrashing, and then it gets like mid-tempo. Um, it's killer. And it goes against DOA, which I love fast, chaotic, and catchy at the same time. Wins. All right, next is Bite the Hand. I love it. Riffs for days. It's fucking awesome. Uh, going against Covering, uh, covering Fire. And this, I mean, on the first listen to this, this is like my favorite song on here because the fucking, it, it, the, those drums, and it's just a crushing thrash tune, you know? So uh, I'll give it to that one. All right, next is Bodies. Uh, this one, it's good, but I don't like the chorus. The chorus kind of like ruins it for me, but but it is good. And that's going against Killing Tendencies, which is... Uh, mid-tempo and crushing and uh it's got some thick riffs on this tune this wins havoc is kicking ass here next one is called endgame which is your typical political lyrically doom and gloom type megadeth song and it's a uh, tip when megadeth gets like that it's typically awesome so i love it and that's going against scumbag in disguise Holy fuck the drumming on this song. Man, this dude is sick. Um, so, this song wins. Again, another one for Havoc. Alright, uh, next one is the hardest part of letting go sealed with a kiss. This is a ballad. And it's like a lovey-dovey ballad. But it's dark. It is dark. But I gotta tell you, man. I love this song. It's not your typical, I know they've done, you know, uh, the two, the Mon and, uh, you know, I know there's, there's more ballad -y songs they've done. This may be the most ballad -y song they've ever did. And I love it. I think it's a great song. And what's that going against? Uh, the Cleric. What a riff. And badass song. But believe it or not, I'm going with the ballad on this one. I like, I really do like that. That Megadeth song. All right, next, Head Crusher. Favorite track off this album. 
I love. I remember the first time hearing this song, and when Dave goes, wow, like he used to do in the early albums, I was like, yeah. And it's just thrashing. It's fucking, it's like killer. It's just a fucking killer song. And that one's going against Out of My Way. Uh, the verses are so badass. And the double bass madness, awesome. But another one, I'm going with Megadeth on this one. Uh, next is How the Story Ends. I think this is a killer track. And uh, even love that semi-melodic chorus, which I'm not too crazy about when Megadeth does those melodic choruses. But I, I dig it. I dig this melodic chorus, which is very rare. And that's going against Time Is Up. Uh, crushing way to end this album. It's just, uh, I gotta, I, I still gotta say, what a drummer, man. Amazing. But, I'm giving that to Megadeth. All right, the last song, which, you know, the Havoc so album's over, but uh, Steve asked me to put the Slayer cover. They did Postmortem and um, Rain and Blood. And he wanted me to put it against the right to go insane. Those crunchy riffs rule hard. And the melodic chorus, I dig as well again. I think it's a great song. Now, the Rain and Blood, uh, Bose Mortem, you know, I think they play it well. But I'm just so used to the Slayer version that, and the guy's vocals are sick. I think this guy got a great voice. Awesome voice, actually. Perfect for thrash. But, I don't know, man. The Araya vibe to the song, it kind of like depletes it with this dude singing it. It, um... I'm giving it to Megadeth. You know, I mean, I know I'm not one of these people that are, you know, I, I, I hate uh, to be one of those people that's like, oh, it's cover, it doesn't count, but... You know, unless you better it or even it, I can't I can't give it to it. But the execution of the band is spot on. And the singing is fine, but I think it takes away from, you know, the cover. So I'm giving that to Megadeth. Alright, so in the end, Megadeth got one, two, three, four, five, and and uh Havoc got one, two, three, four, five, six. It won by one. I mean, it really came out of the gate kicking ass and slaughtering all these killer Megadeth songs. But, uh, you know, and I don't even think the second half of Endgame's any better. I'm just saying. That, you know, I think uh, Time Is Up is front-loaded. But the songs that came later are still crushing. There's not a bad song on either album, even though I'm not too crazy about some of the choruses on the Megadeth album. But it's a hell of an album. And Chris Barter, was that the guitar player on that album? He was. What a nice guy, too. I met him on 70 Tons of Metal. Super nice guy. And uh, so there you go. Thank you so much, Steve, for the donation, my friend. A thrashing track by track. And it was cool listening to Havoc. And, uh, hey, you know, I'd love to own Time Is Up one day. And, you know, if I ever spot it somewhere, I'll pick it up, man. And, uh... Again, thanks, Steve. And if you'd like to donate, i got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not. So, stay frosty, listen to Black Sabbath, and smack them a gob! Thrash rules. Bang, bang, pizza skulls!